I'm Glenn Darcy, Vice President of Product Management. Today I'll tell you about our latest addition to the V Collection, its support for Native Instruments' new NKS plug-in format. I'd like to introduce Arturia's support for Native Instruments' new NKS plug-in format. This new plug-in format allows both machine and complete control users to load and browse all the Arturia V Collection plugins directly from your NI hardware. For existing Arturia V Collection owners, this is a free update. Just open the Arturia Service Center application and download the latest updates of all of your products. For machine or complete users, the Arturia V Collection adds 13 new synthesizers and classic keyboards that bring a new sound palette to your productions. It's a great way to complete your complete or add new machines to machine. Make sure you get the latest versions of machine or complete control installed in your system. Once you install those and the latest V Collection plugins, you'll see them appear in your instrument browsers. We have arranged our parameters in a way that makes sense for each plugin and gives you access to the features you need most directly from the hardware. First thing I'm going to cover will be using the Arturia V Collection plugins within a machine studio environment. So from machine, from the machine hardware, you can load different instances of the plugins on different pads. I've got a CS80 on that one. I've got a classic ARP 2600 on that one. I've got the Mini V there. And I've got Modular V on there. In Machine 2, you can press the Browse button from your hardware. Or you can click on the Instruments tabs in the software. Once you do that, if you navigate to Instruments, in this case uh, I'm already at Instruments, you can now either just choose your different products via the controls here. And you see ARP 2600, CS80, you go down the list here, Matrix 12, Mini V, Modular V, over SEM, Profit V, Selena, Spark. You've got all of our instruments that now just appear in here. So once you choose the product that you want, I'm going to go on and uh, assign it to another pad here. And I'm going to choose, let's go pick uh, Profit VS. So now you can use the types and the modes controls to pick and choose your sounds. We've added the NI tagging to all of our sounds so that you can sit here and quickly find what types of sounds you want. So I want something with a long release that's a synth pad that uh, let's do a, uh, an evolving pad. So that's going to filter the results of things that I have over here and I can just kind of go and, and pick and choose something. So let's try moving chords and see what that is. put our pads into keyboard mode. And then you can go pick and choose the next or previous. Once you've pressed load, now you've got the sounds in here. Pick and choose and start your production. You can leave the browse mode by pressing the browse button again and you'll see the synth icon on your screen. Now we've just added Profit V. I can go choose uh, some of the other instruments that I have on the other pads. Uh, here's CS80, ARP 2600, Mini V, and Modular V. And what you can see is that within the knobs now you've got the knobs that will control the sound that you have going. And I can choose different pages using the arrow buttons right here. And it will go and show me all the different uh, functionalities that I have. So in here is the channel 1 filter, channel 1 VCO, channel 2 filter, channel 2 VCO. Uh, we've got our mix controls. I choose a different instrument, same thing.
So it's that easy. Now I'm going to show using the Arturia plugins within a complete control environment. For complete control users, you need to load an instance of complete control in your DAW. In this case, I'm using Logic. From the library, then you can choose Instruments, or you can just press the Browse button from your hardware. Now you can turn the encoder, pick and choose what instrument you want to load, and then uh, just load it. Once again, using the uh, encoder, you can see on the uh, software, I can pick and choose the different types of sounds. Uh, we've got a Matrix 12, so let's go choose a synth pad, and it's known for its... Uh, we'll kind of go choose a, a deep pad here. And we won't choose a mode. So now we've got uh, Matrix 12 loaded. So once again, you can see all of the uh, parameters are pre-mapped already on the hardware. Now I can just sit here and pick and choose which pages. In the Matrix 12, we've got 16 pages because it has a lot of stuff on it. But now I can access each of the parameters of the synth directly from the, uh, from the hardware keyboard here. Once again, the V Collection makes a great addition to the plugins in Complete. The two complement each other very well. By adding the V Collection to your machine or Complete Control Workflow, you have many new ways to create sounds that you need in your production.